Scott Tuxbury is a true Montana conservative. After more than 40 years in the insurance industry, Scott is ready to put his knowledge and dedication to work for insurance consumers and businesses in Montana as the next state auditor. Back in the day of our insurance careers, early, I guess, was uh, I knew you were a great businessman. You got brought tremendous value to our particular insurance agency, and I'm not the only one. But there was a couple of things I never talked about, and that was one of them was politics. And you filed as a Republican for this office. I absolutely did, and certainly there's no choice. When you look at my background, you look at the conservative background that I've had through my whole life, there's no choice. That was what I had to do. I certainly believe in the conservative agenda. Being pro-life is part of, part of me, and the values that are instilled upon me are absolutely what I'm all about. As, as, as we knew each other uh, 30 years ago, that wasn't a part of the discussion. Uh, it was a discussion that you'd have at home, but not necessarily in business. And so as i am become a politician in the last two weeks, I've had to express my views. And it is different to express your views in public that you haven't done in the past. So that's probably, that's been a real challenge for me because I've held my views internally because I believe that that's what a lot of views are, is some, that just how you feel inside. And so now it's time to talk politics. Well, as, yeah. long, as snot nose kids, who, we didn't really care probably, but it, isn't it funny how the, your, your love for the insurance industry, or at least that's your profession, vocation, and uh, how you've been molded together with with, with the outdoors and the natural resources and the guiding and the hunting, it just, all, it, it forms you and all of a sudden, here you are. Here I am and, and again, to, to use those conservative values in a job where I can bring other jobs to Montana and we have, to, we have some real issues, I think, that coming up in the future in this world. And that is, when I'm talking about the insurance world, where we need insurance companies in this state, we need more. We don't need more regulation. What we need is more insurance companies in Montana to compete. That's what we really need in this state. And when you look at the conservative values, that's a core. We need private businesses in Montana to compete. And the more we have, the more competition we have, and the more the customer wins in the end. And that's how we win for Montanans. That's exactly, I was just thinking the same thing with the, you know, the better the private sector does. If we take the handcuffs off, uh, the insurance professionals and, and let them do the job that they have trained for, educated for, and, and are out there to make their living, it's, we should all be better off. We should all be better off at that point in time. Now that doesn't mean that you don't, re that you don't come down on those bad actors. Because if there's bad actors, those are the ones that you have to go after. But what we need to do is have more of the good actors in Montana, and we've kept them out in the past with some regulation. And so we really need to concentrate on that and look at that. How can we improve Montana's lives through the insurance mechanism? How do we have more insurance companies in? How do we lower uh, property insurance? How do we control the cost for health insurance? How do we handle those things? It's not by getting rid of insurance companies in Montana. It's by bringing more into the state. It's a tall order. It is a tall order, and it'll take some time. We go back, and here you are, standing here, looking up a mountain, and uh, you have aspirations of bettering Montana, take, taking the next chapter of Scott Tuxbury, somewhere where he, he thinks he, he's going, but you know the journey will, is unchartered, so to speak. So how do you see this all evolving over the next 18 months. Well, part of the journey is, is what we're going through today, which is the election. Winning the primary and then getting into the general is, is what our absolute goal is right now, and that's what we're concentrating on. And as I look ahead, I'm starting to plan, what would I do with the office? How would we change things? How do we keep, it, how do we keep the good things that are there today running smoothly? How do we bring better things in today and the, in the future? I have a lot of ideas when it comes to education. Um, bringing more education not only to the consumers of Montana, but also to the department so that we can do a better job for our consumers. As you know, part of the background that we've talked about, one of my passions is educating others. That's what I would do in the job. I would actually be out there physically educating those uh, consumers in Montana. I see outreach as a very important part of that role. Part of, you know, a lot of people 
on the outside, so to speak, or every day on the street of rural Montana or in Helena or Billings, wherever he might be. Boy, politics, you couldn't get me to do that. Why would you do that? Why? What say you? So that is a really good question. And, and as I went through the process and we talked about it and we made the decision, Renee and I made the decision that I'm going to do this. There was a lot of, we, we had to really think about it. We had to consider everything, but really in the end, I wouldn't be happy unless I did this. And this absolutely is something I've wanted to do. So the timing was right. And I said, let's do it. And it is difficult to jump into a political arena when you haven't had the experience. But you know what? I think that's the fun part. I'm running as a non-politician. I've never held a public office. I, I think that's pretty clear as to why I want to want that job because I think I can do it. Oh, you see, I know I can do it. You're still a young guy, a lot of years to give, and uh, I'm thankful that you're giving it back to Montana. Ah, I'd love to be able to. Yes.